All right. Um, so far in this uh, p free piano course that I'm given for uh, for absolute beginner at the piano, so far we've learned how to form scales, how to form major chords, and how to form minor chords. Now, basically, I mean, as advanced as you go, those you know those three things uh, are pretty much more than halfway there to actually playing songs on the piano. It's really not as complicated as you may think after you get things down into a formula and understand. You know, when you first look at it, you just see all these notes here. But really, the only notes that you have to be concerned about is the seven notes in any scale. So if you are in a C scale, you're playing the key of C. Those are the, between here and here on the white notes, those are the only notes that you're going to be concerned about. Those are the only notes that you're pretty much going to going to play most of the time. And what you do is, is you're just adding with two hands, you're just putting all, you know, all the chords together with two hands and playing, and playing a song with it. See, that's a C chord right here. So we have C, G, C, G, and C. That's just one big C chord. And you know, and you're going to use like things like that a lot. Okay, so now that you know how to form major chords and you know how to form minor chords, now, since this course is pretty much uh, is going to be playing by ear, like I covered a little in the last video, you want to learn every note by numbers. Because we're going to learn chord progressions by the numbers, not really by the notes, by the note uh, letters. So, C is your 1 in the C scale, D is your 2, E is your 3, F is your 4, G is the 5, A is the 6, B is the 7, and C is the 1. Okay? Now, uh, you know how to form major, you know how to form minor. There's also diminished and augmented chords, but we're not going to get into those right now. Uh, uh, a diminished chord and thing... I never even started playing those until you know months and months after I started learning the piano. It was mainly major chords, and then I added minor chords, and then later on I added diminished chords. You can actually play a whole song with nothing but major chords, but it's pretty dull and boring. But if you're a beginner and you've never really played before, you've never even played a song before, well then playing just the major chords can actually be kind of satisfying at the beginning stage. And then, if you keep at it and you keep practicing, uh, whenever I say playing only major chords, is if you're playing in the key of C, you're only going to use your C chord, your F chord, and your G chord. And you can play a lot, many, many, many songs with just those three chords. But it's you know it. There's not much. Uh, it, there's not much to it though. But you know people can't understand what you're playing. And for somebody who doesn't know anything about the piano, it actually you know, they think you're playing the piano. So, so if you learn the scales by numbers, from that, we're, you know, you, you need to understand every scale by numbers, but particularly, uh, mainly in this, this video, or in this course, you're going to want to know the C scale by numbers. See, after you play in the C scale long enough, you'll be able to start using the other uh, keys a lot easier. Uh, the C, F, and G scale. Okay, so in this video, since you know the major and minor chords, let's play a simple song using just the major chord, the major chords. Okay, and in the next video, we're going to show you how to add the minor chords. Okay, so let's play uh, Away in a Major. Okay, and this song is, is, um, is pretty simple. We're just going to use three chords, which is your C chord, your F chord, and your G chord. And I'll show you where to change at. See, because all you're pretty much doing is using chords, using like one chord, staying on the C chord, and then you listen to it, and then you'll hear it change, you'll, you'll hear a change coming up, and then you'll know to change to your F chord. Okay? So you're just listening for the changes in any song. Okay, so let's play away in a major. Now in our left hand, all we're going to do in our left hand is if we're in a C chord, 
all we're going to do in our left hand is just hold down the C that, that the chord we're in, okay? So the melody goes like this. G. Okay? So it starts out with a C chord, away in a major. Okay? So you see that? So I just want, if you can pick a song by ear, you should be able to pick out the melody. So we're going to stay in that C chord. Now at this point, right here in the song, you should notice that it's time to change off that C chord. So what are we going to change to? The C moves to the F. Okay? So we're going to move down to the F chord. that we went from the C chord now see right here all I did was you know uh, since you're beginning all I did was just walk down I used the regular C chord in the first inversion here and I walked down the melody so that's the set that's the third inversion of the C chord walk down the melody F chord Back to the C chord. Now you can hear right here wanting to change to again. So we're, we're going to change here to the G chord. Okay? And that's the third, second inversion of that G chord. Okay? Go up to the G chord like that. To the F. Back to the C. back on the C to the F back to the C to the F to the C to the G okay so that's basically how the song goes just like that simple and uh, just use those three chords play that whole song through and get to where you know you can use uh, get to where you can use the full chord in your right hand you can go as slow as you want see and you can hear when it changes so the only three chords you're going to use is the C F and G and you're going to play that entire song and if you maybe if you if you hear a change and you use the wrong chord, well then just go to the other chord and see if it works, and it will definitely work because you only got a uh, one out of three to choose from. Okay, so get this song down pat, uh, and get to where you can just play it through, and uh, then you'll be well on your way to playing you know a, a lot more songs using those same three chords. You just take any song like maybe Amazing Grace. <laughs> Okay, let's take Amazing Grace and use the same three chords. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you can listen. To the F. To the C. To the G. that you learned and think of you know if you're you know this is mainly you know uh, most all you can play most any old hymn using those same three chords and just uh, after you get away in a major down think of any other song that you might think of maybe for church or something that 
you know, the old, the newer uh, style songs, you know, may not work as good with those. Uh, you might, you'll, you'll, they'll definitely need more minor chords and things in a lot of the newer songs. But if you just play any old like Amazing Grace or, uh, you know, Away in a Manger, any song like that, well then you can just mainly use those three chords and play about about any song. And uh, that's a great way to get started. Uh, you know, you want to see yourself playing songs, and the more you, you know, the more you see yourself improve doing that, rather than just exercises. You know, because those are pretty boring. The more you see yourself actually playing and improving with actually playing songs, the more motivated you will be at actually playing and practicing. So, uh, all right, so get get playing. You know, that song and as many songs as you can think of, and then after uh, after that, I'll show you how to add minor chords in the song.